Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show, and we're going to do a mailbag show. Now, there's a couple of uh, YouTube channels that I watch that are very popular, and one of the things they do quite often is mailbag shows where they open a bag that they've gotten in the mail about, uh, you know, some device or something that they're going to review in the future, or they will review immediately. So I thought I'd try one this morning, since I just got this in the mail yesterday. And, well, let's just open it up. And, and let me know, give me some feedback on whether you like mailbag shows. It's kind of like an unboxing, but not really. So we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so we're going to open this up. Eh, maybe I don't lose... Maybe I won't use the knife. It's always dangerous for me to have a knife in my hand. Yeah, I can get this open. And what could this be? Let me zoom in a little bit. I got my camera on autofocus, and it's kind of a trade-off. But here we go. All right. What this is? Oh, there's two of them. He sent me two of them. Okay. Um, Timothy Orts. I may be pronouncing that wrong. Uh, N9SAB's ham operator. That's cool. That's, oh, I better read this first. I hadn't read this. Uh, enclosed, you will find a 31 meter and a 40 meter antenna. Have fun with them and let me know how you like them. All right. Now, he is, I found him on eBay. And let me just go look at my do -do -do computer here and get his seller's name. His seller's name on eBay is T-I-M-O-R-T-I-Z. And he sells these antennas that he makes for oh, $20 to $80, depending on what frequency and what he's, whether he's got matching transformers or not. And so I've been talking to him about reviewing some of his antennas. And I told him uh, let me turn these over. I told him that a majority of my viewers are shortwave listeners, so they're not going to need to transmit. And he typically sells uh, antennas for amateur radios for transmit, either on 80 meters, 40 meters, 20 meters, whatever. And so initially I s said, you know, okay, send me a 40 meter or a 30 meter antenna, those are kind of in the area of what my listeners and myself listen to. And we'll see how it works out for shortwave listening. So, number one, he sent me a 40 meter one. This can be used for transmit and receive. And then he made one for 31 meters, which is the shortwave international band that I listen to the most. So we're just going to open these up. Oh, and it comes in a nice little blue pouch. Now, that's the idea of these antennas, is for doing field, either listening or field um, transmitting or communications, if you're an amateur. And so you can uh, string these up real quick and uh, in a park or something, and listen to shortwave, or do you even do some communications on shortwave. So let's see what's in the kit. Now, this, I believe, is um, fully assembled. Get it out of the bag. It's a nice little bag. I wonder where he gets those bags. You know, unfortunately, I can't get the thing out of the bag. Leave it to me. It's a little tight. Okay, come back in about five minutes and I'll have this out of the bag. There we go. It's just a matter of getting the bag straightened out. There we go. Okay. So there's a nice little bag comes with. And here's the antenna. These are what's called dipole antennas. In that this, the feed to your radio 
is in the center and then you have two legs that stretch out. And these are, uh, I'm not sure, maybe 18 gauge wire. And these, the, the length and the little matching transformer that's down in here that he makes um, are tuned for the various frequencies. So they'll work on other frequencies, especially if you're only listening. But if you're transmitting, you want to get the standing wave ratio number down as low as possible so that you get the maximum transfer of power. And you get the best impedance match for your radio. I hope I said that correctly. So anyway, this is what comes in the kit. It's fully assembled. So you add... Let me get the cap off here. You get you add some coax cable to this, whatever length you need, and then run that to your radio. So as far as what to look at here, it's pretty straightforward. Like I say, he sells all kinds of. Oh, there it goes. It must be 7:30. Yep, 7:30. You know, my wife usually gets a phone call from the school system at 7:30, so I'm just gonna let that ring till she picks it up. Okay. So there it is, and uh, we're going to string this up in um, our backyard. You see, it has a little hook there. So you can see the little hook right there. It's a little hook, so you can string a piece of uh, a rope around that and and uh, hang it up in a tree or, or something. And we're going to uh, do just that in the next couple of days and see how it works. I see he's got these. Uh, these little loops on the end that are molded that you can put a string through to tie these ends up like that, like such. So, I want to thank uh, Tim. Where's my, where did I do the card? He said, oh, okay, here it is. Uh, Timothy. Yes, Timothy. And uh, we'll see how it works out. Thank you, Timothy. Everyone else, including Timothy, have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I am such a dick.